Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Garden State Koi YouTube channel. Today is the Moonlight Pond Tour where we're going to be going to six different properties where we've created some beautiful water features. We're going to show them off to you guys. Let's take a look. All right, so the first stop is the home of Mary Alice and Ed Cahill. We actually did a video on this channel recently. I will put the link in the description. Really beautiful pond. It sits right on the edge of their patio. You walk in to the backyard and it's just this beautiful little oasis. I really love it. So let's check it out. All right, stop number two is Jerry Minkus. And look, we got horses. All right, so right in front here, there's this sort of roundabout type deal. And right in the middle, there's this awesome waterfall fountainscape. Absolutely beautiful, I love this. All right, ooh, I almost just tripped and fell. That wouldn't be good. Let's go around to the other side and see what we got. What's up guys? Tom Sandstrom, we got Roberto, we got Mitchell. What are we serving here? Oh, it looks like everything's kind of Everybody missed the party there, but. <laughs> oh well, that's all right. Crab what cake. was it? That was crab cakes. Crab cake, okay. shrimp shooters, shrimp shooters avocado, cool. corn, tomato salad. How, how uh, long do you spend out here? Probably all day is what I, I assume is what I would do. Uh -huh. yeah, it's beautiful. It's got to be such a nice place to spend the evening. Do you think you have a favorite part? Like if you had to choose one element of this, what would you choose as your favorite? Well, right here because this is where I sit. Right, yeah. This but is I mean, such I, a nice spot. I can see it from my recliner. Right. <laughs> one more. Roger, she's really going to sleep good tonight. One more. One more for you, okay? I hope he's watching the water. <laughs> yeah. She's so patient. Oh, come on, Billy. Get a girl. That's it. Stop number three. Yeah, we got horses still. Still got horses. Okay, stop number three. We are at the Saldano residence in Wanage, New Jersey. All right, let's go check it out. So here we are at the Saldano's house on the pond tour. Everyone is absolutely loving the pond, the property. Peter, the owner, was here, but he had to leave before the people showed up. Absolutely one of the favorite ponds, I believe. What do you think of the pond? <laughs> Love it. <laughs> is a three-year-old feature. We've got a large wetland filter, which is very cool. We've got 
Signature 6000 Biofalls, some color changing lights which aren't on yet because it's still a little light out. I love these stepping stones, very cool. Beautiful plants, love this patio area. There's 60 tons of boulders here, if you could believe it. And 12 yards of gravel. This is super, super beautiful, absolutely love it. Before? Oh, over here? Wow. Whoa. Man. And yes, there used to be a swimming pool there. <laughs> yeah. Kids didn't use it anymore. <laughs> the kids didn't use it anymore. We got a pond and stuff. We backfilled it and then the uh, pond came over and we just the pond. All right, you guys, next up is. George Lista, I believe. Yes. Yes, George Lista. Um, also, as I've been saying with all of these, we did a video on George Lista. Link, once again, in the description. Check it out. Five, which is none other than Tom Smith, aka my boss, and also the owner of Garden State Koi. Let's go check it out. And <laughs> What you making? Snapping turtle. Snapping turtle? Yeah, that's what Tom's calling it. I'm going with it. Hey, <laughs> you! don't understand I I've been wandering this place and I keep finding more water features this is pretty wild but I mean I guess if you literally own a company that does this stuff I I would also have a lot of water features at my house hello again <laughs> we've already greeted literally I don't get it I just missed there's another one it's insane guys last stop this is a uh, longtime customer Dan Chester uh, once again we did do a video on Dan Chester and once again like in the description um, but yeah no amazing 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 property and I am super excited to see what this looks like at night because I've never seen it uh, it probably looks freaking amazing
I would say if there's one lesson to be learned from Dan Chester's property, it's to get lights because wow, does it make a difference. So it was pretty dark at Dan Chester's house, so there's only so much that I could really film, but wow, that place is spectacular at night. I mean, if you don't have lights for your feature, I, you, you gotta get on that. It's, it really makes a universe of difference, like when you're looking at it at night. It, it's the difference between not being able to see anything and having this like light show in your backyard. Um, so super cool. I mean, it, it looks amazing in the daytime. Definitely check out that video on Dan Chester. Uh, like I said, I put it in the description. It was really great meeting all those people, seeing all those really awesome ponds and water features. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and especially let me know which one of these is your favorite. I know it's tough because they're all pretty awesome and it's hard to choose. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments which one of these is your favorite. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our videos. Turn those notifications on, and we'll see you in the next one.